What is up, YouTube? This is your first Tackle Tip Tuesday video, and, uh, so, as you can tell by the title, this video is gonna be about Texas rigs. How to rig them, and, yeah, and the rod and reel and line, and the reel really doesn't matter, but the line and rod that I will be throwing this Texas rig on. So what you'll need is a bullet weight. I the lightest, the lighter you can get away with, that's what I prefer. This is a 316th ounce. You'll need a hook. Any hook will do. This is a offset rounded worm hook. You can use your uh, extra wide gap hooks. I just feel like you get a better hookup ratio with these hooks. hooks. Yeah. And then you can have your pegs, that doesn't really matter, but we're going to put it on here anyways. So, what? You, and then you have uh, your creature bait, or your Senko style bait. It will work with any soft plastic bait. So what you'll do first, you'll get your bobber stop, your bobber stop, your peg, and you're going to feed it right through the little eye. And then you're gonna just slide it off onto your line, and it's already on there. And you're just gonna slide it off. And then we don't need these anymore, so we can set these off to the side. And the little bobber stop is on the line, and it's fairly hard to move. But I am gonna slide it up my line towards the eye of the first eye of my rod, so it gives me room to tie my bait. So then after that, what you're going to do, you're going to find the end of your line, and you have your bullet weight. You're going to feed it through the small end of the sliding bullet weight first. So you're holding it, and it looks like this. And you slide that up your line. And then you get your hook. You feed it through the eye of the hook. I go, if you're holding the hook point away from you, you feed it through that end eye, or that way. So now, you just let it dangle, and you tie whatever knot, whatever knot you're comfortable with. I tie the uni knot. And then you have your tag end. Don't mind that little server. But you have your tag end, just clip it, and just pull it tight. And that was a good knot. And then, how to rig your bait. First off, we're, we're just going to start with your Senko bait. You have the bait. And you just, the very top, you just put it in. You put it in till the, round, the bend of the hook, you just put it in, you just put it in for the straight part. That's And then, you're just going to come out the side. Bring it all the way up the shaft of the hook, and once you get to this curved part, you're going to twist and slide up. So then it looks like this. It looks like that. And then, you're going to come and see, see where that hook point enters that worm? That's where you're going to stick the point in. You can stick it all the way down through the hook, so then it comes out looking like this. And it'll look like this, and you push it down, and then you can skin hook it. That's not very straight, but usually it'll look better than this. That's, that's a little bit more straighter. Still not very straight. But that, that's not really the point right now. You want to get that worm as straight as it can get, so I'll get it pretty straight right now. That's still not very straight at all. There. That is very straight. And that is a skin hook. That is where it's on the outside of the worm, but it is... You tuck it back into the... The... And then see how you can run and your my finger gets caught on that? 
you tuck it back into the worm. You tuck it back in. And that is how you Texas rig a worm. And see, now I will do uh, probably my favorite bait to Texas rig of all time. The Zoom Baby Brush Hog. And all these baits will be in the description below if you're wondering what they are. So what you want, we'll do once again, you have your little tentacle thingies. You'll, you want to go in between that. So once again, just stick it right in there. Through the top, go to where the bait is. Not, or to where the, the bend starts to come. Pull it out. Spin. And tuck. And then that. Then you have your peg right up here. Oh, I'm going to slide this down. And then you have your peg. Let me get this out of the way. You have your peg, which pegs the weight from falling. And then you have your bait. And then you don't have to have your peg on there. Usually I don't peg it. And then your weight can slide. And that is how you Texas rig. Oops. That is how you Texas rig a bait. That is what your Texas rig will look like. And that is it for your Tackle Tuesday video. This video ran, ran a little bit longer than what I wanted it to. But that's alright. Getting you all that information packed in there. But that is your Texas rig. If I can hold on to it. That is how you Texas rig a worm. A worm. Creature bait. Crawl bait. That is how you Texas rig. And also the rod and reel that I, the rod, reel, and line that uh, I use will be in the description so you don't have to listen to me ramble about that. So it is in the description. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Make sure you give this thumbs up, this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Catch you next time.